This is a demonstration of how to use Mr. Model Test version 2 in Windows to estimate models of evolution for character partitions created in a Nexus file. I start with the Win32 version of POP to both edit data blocks and run the first steps in using Mr. Model Test. Following is an overview of the steps we will cover here. First, we will create the character partition or sets in the Nexus file. Second, we will execute the Nexus file in POP. Third, we will isolate the partition that we want Mr. Model Test to estimate the model for. Fourth, in POP we will execute the Mr. Model Test file called Mr. Model Block, which will evaluate 24 different models and select the one best suited to your current partition. This will create a file called Mr. Model.scores. This Mr. Model.scores file will be used in Mr. Model Test application to create a file that will include both POP and Mr. Bay's commands that can be pasted into your Nexus file. Now be careful with this Mr. Model.scores file because every time you run this, it overwrites the file from the previous analysis. So the first thing we want to do is open your Nexus file. And I've created a demonstration file called sample.next and make sure you click on the edit button instead of execute so that you can open the file and look at it and edit it. And here I've already created the character partitions or sets. I have five of them. I have CO1. Uh, I have a set for each of the three codon positions for CO1 and one for 16S. So the first thing we want to do now is execute this file. So file, execute, and the processing of the file is completed. Now let's isolate or load character set CO1 into the pop memory or buffer. And the way to do that is type include, we can abbreviate the commands, CO1 slash only. The slash only tells pop that we only want CO1 in the buffer. Hit enter and you can see that currently there are 606 characters loaded into the buffer and if we look at our character partition, sure enough there are 606 characters. So now we want to load Mr. Model Block file. And to do that, you have to make sure that you pull this file type down to all file types because it does not have an extension. So there is Mr. Model Block. And make sure it's execute, not edit. Open, run. And you can see that it is now evaluating each model. Here it is on model 4 of 24. And it'll take about a minute and a half to two minutes depending on the size of your data block. Now when the analysis finishes, the pop display window will indicate that it is done and it will also show you where it has saved the files. So here are the Mr. Model.scores files, what we're interested in, and it is in on my desktop phylogenetics folder. We will now take this file and process it through Mr. Model Test. To run Mr. Model Test on Windows, you need to use the DOS prompt. And the best way to get there is to the Start menu, to the Run option, and enter CMD or command window, hit OK, and it puts out a window for you. Here is the DOS window, and the best way to interact with the DOS window in Windows is to simply drag and drop files from the Explorer window, and we will do that here. So in this case, to run Mr. Model Test, you first enter the command modeltest2.exe, and then we will enter our Mr. Model scores file we just created and create a bracket around that so hit your bracket then drag Mr. Model scores into there close it with another bracket hit a space and now provide the name for a file that tells you where your model is we'll call it my co one model.txt hit enter and program is done and it tells you that the file is now in the H directory so let's go get that H drive and my c one model is right there let's open it and this has a report of the Mr. Model Block Analysis and the Mr. Model Test Analysis. And you want to scroll all the way down to the past the AIC information. And you can see here for a pop command block, all you have to do is copy and paste this into Nexus file. And for Mr. Bayes, the same thing here. You copy and paste this into your Nexus file. This will give you the model that should be used.